What is happening, everybody? Welcome to Rippin' Packs. It is Monday. And if you saw last week's uh, episodes, you know that uh, we started the hobby box of Bowman. I do things a quarter at a time. That's just, uh, even ask my wife, that's just how I do things. And what are we doing today? We're doing the third quarter of the Bowman Hobby Box. We're gonna rip open this side right over here. Come back and let's see what we get. I'm Craig Michelson. I'm an actor and a filmmaker and I just got back into the hobby after a 15 year hiatus. I collected at the worst time to collect. But it was also the Northwest Territory account manager for Excel, putting cards and collectibles into stores such as Target, Shopco, and Fred Meyer. I also worked in minor league baseball for a few seasons. Don't think, just you know. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby, one pack at a time. Now let's go rip some packs. All right, everybody. So ripping packs on a Monday and Huh. This weekend was pretty weird, wasn't it? Yeah, a little weird for me. I tell you, normally I'm used to doing my things on a Friday, especially the last month or so. Uh, go wait in line or go hit a couple stores or do whatever, and I will say, it's weird. Now, out here in Los Angeles, um, we don't have a lot of options. So, pretty much Walmarts are compromised. Hobby shops we do have, and don't get me wrong, I love going to the hobby shops, looking in the dollar bins, looking to find some deals, getting some packs here and there, but once the packs have had a, um, had a good shelf life, they keep getting jacked up in price and things get a little hard to come by. So, putting some pre-orders in on a hobby product, we'll see what I can get there, but for retail stuff, we're just gonna have to see what happens. I know online we get some options here and there. I don't have a bot, and I'm just gonna have to rely on quick fingers and quick connections and quick links. Yeah. So hopefully, not just for me. I honestly, I could care less about me. It's everybody else out there. So hopefully, you guys are all able to get something. Hopefully, uh, I know it affects all of us. It affects me. It affects you. It affects breakers. It affects flippers. It affects everybody. So let's. Um, Let's, uh, let's get this shit back on the road, you know what I'm saying? And let's give it a week or two. I know, trust me, I'm not happy about it either because Top Series 2 is coming out, Chrome's gonna be coming out. Um, there's gonna be some more basketball hitting. Football's at least outside of Chronicles, uh, you know, on its swan song for the year. So 2021, you know, maybe around August will be good to have some product out. But anyway, what are we ripping today? Well, if you saw the, get the top of the show, you saw what we're ripping. We're gonna rip open some Bowman Hobby Box. We're gonna rip open six packs. We're gonna rip open this side right over here. Uh, we haven't pulled the autograph yet, and we haven't pulled, we pulled one numbered card. We pulled the, the uh, Atomic Refractor, which is pretty badass. It was Ismail Mina. Uh, but we got some, we got a good round last time. Round two last Monday was horrible. Round two on Tuesday was pretty good. But we'll round three be any better. Let's find out. So. We have six packs here of 10 cards, all hobby love. But you know, before we open these cards right here, these lovely, you know, kick-ass product. Well, it's not kick-ass, last year was kick-ass. This year was, it's it's not awful, I'll put it that way. Anyway, before we open these, click that like button, and the subscribe button, and the notification bell. They're there, click them, and follow me down on those little thingamajiggers down there and you'll see the hits from this and you'll see what I'm ripping next and you'll see me talking stuff occasionally yeah so ripping packs are you ready to do this right here six packs that's right six packs we're almost done with this hobby box I do have three megas on the way and I just got five blasters and I got a bunch of fat packs too that are coming so woo you lucky for you um so here we go one pack pack number one we have 10 cards Heston Kierstad and Casey Mize, the rookie for the Tigers, rookie pitcher for the Tigers, are on the package. And we expect some hits. We expect some hits. One, two, three, three, two, one. Rip them packs. Let's go. Ah, all right. All right. We got our Chromers coming up. Michael Trout. Nothing like a star right off the bat. And I haven't been, the only, only piles I've been doing in this have been rookie have been first, have been prospects, and then base. So Mike Trout, you're normally a hit. You're a hit, but not in this little pile right here. Mike Trout. Luis Castillo, pitcher for the Reds. Kinda not doing too hot this year. Maybe he should have been traded, yeah. Anyway. Cody Bellinger, same thing. 
yes, you'd go into the PC pile, but you haven't played. Yes, that little injury kind of threw you off, but Dodgers are weird right now. Signing Pujols and uh, getting Toki, uh, Shiatsu Tokiaga or whatever his name is from the uh, Rays. There's a lot of weird things going on with the Dodgers, but obviously it's injuries and they just looks like they lost Seager for a while. So my fantasy team sucks, by the way, because I have like six Dodgers. Yeah. But by the way, it's a National League only, so it's kind of good to have a good team. Yeah. Anyway, Cody Bellinger. Josh Donaldson for the Twins. Speaking of guys who are always injured, yeah, Josh Donaldson. Let's get to the back. Got ourselves Blake Walston for the Diamondbacks. First round for them last year. I did pull a numbered sparkle card last Tuesday from him. You're going to go into the prospect pile. Robert Pawson for the A's, another one of those prospects. His first Bowman was last year. And the guy like uh, Jason... Um, Jason, uh, what's Dominguez, has not played any professional baseball yet. Well, he probably is now, but possum. Taylor Trammell for the Mariners. He just got demoted to Tacoma because there's this little player for the Mariners called uh, Jared uh, Kelnick. Uh, yeah, he's a good one. Yeah, he got, they pretty much swapped spots, but Trammell's a good player. He just couldn't hit his weight. And Josh Donaldson is who, well, it's kind of a crappy pack. We already saw Josh Donaldson, so let's get to the back. Our first chrome is going to be, is that Max Meyer for the Marlins? Oh, nope, Dax Fulton for the chrome. Not a first, Dax Fulton for the chrome. Put you there. And our next chrome is going to be, oh, is that Nick Gonzalez? Nice, not his first, but Nick Gonzalez the, uh, for, the, for the Pirates. He was five in a row, no, five overall. Seventh overall out of New Mexico, uh, New Mexico State, and the guy's a baller. The guy can hit. He'll be uh, he'll be up with the big club uh, pretty soon, just because they need help. Nick Gonzalez, that's a hit right there. In fact, I'm going to put you into the uh, the hit pile. And our last card is Bowman Scouts Top 100 Max Meyer. So I predicted Max Meyer would come in the Bowman Scouts Top 100. So there you go. You're going to go into the uh, yeah into that pile, the insert pile. And that was no, nah, Nick Gonzalez is the best card. Pack number two of the Bowman third quadrant, part three. Wooden packs. Aaron Nola for the Phillies. Joey Gallo for the Rangers. And I pulled a couple dupes already out of this hobby box. Not happy about that because I want other cards. Vladdy Jr. Normally you'd be a hit pile, but it's Bowman. And Lou Bob, who's out for the next like month and a half or so for the White Sox. Same thing, you're going to hit the ball, but skip to the back. We get ourselves uh, Freudus Nova, shortstop for the Astros, prospect card. Shane Baz for the Rays, another prospect card. Then Shane Langoliers for the, uh, for the Braves. Uh, catcher, prospect for the Braves. And we're back at Lou Bob's. So let's go to the back. First Bowman is this Christopher Morrell. Christopher Morrell with the Chrome. I actually, I'm pretty high in him. Um, he's he's uh, like 21, I think 21 years old. He's on there uh, on the 40 man roster for the Cubs, third baseman. So if something happens with Chris Bryant, like they trade him or they do anything, this guy's next in line. So I'm pretty high on Christopher Morrell. So Christopher Morrell, you're gonna go into the first Bowman hit pile, which now I have. And the next card is not a first. It is uh, Emerson Hancock for the Mariners. They're number one overall last year. Uh, he was sixth overall. I wanna say out of Georgia, could be wrong, but yeah. Was he out of Georgia? Uh, yeah, Georgia. Wow, God, I remember this stuff. But yeah, uh, he's a he's a big, uh, big, tall, six foot four, uh, just flamethrower. So you're gonna go into the hit pile, insert hit pile, and then our last card is Corbin Carroll. This dude is playing in my old stomping grounds, meaning I didn't play there, but I lived there, Hillsboro. I didn't live there; I lived near it. I know, sounds pathetic. Uh, for the Diamondbacks, this guy is just popping the crap out of the bat right now. He's just, he had a, yeah, he's just doing really well, but that's high A now, so. But Corbin Carroll for the Diamondbacks, going into the insert pile, and he's a good one. Pack number three, Bowman. Let's go. 
Okay, we've got ourselves Freddie Freeman for the Braves, MVP of the National League last year. Tanner Houck, rookie card for the Red Sox. We're gonna do a rookie pile now. Um, normally you'd be in the PC pile, but yeah, I just that's what I do at the moment. Then Sam Huff, Rangers catcher, rookie card. And Dalton Varsho, catcher outfielder, rookie, Rocky, rookie for the Diamondbacks, who just, uh, he's up at the big show right now, uh, he's up in the big club, and he did, uh, he's been doing okay, he's, he's definitely up there because of injury, but, yeah, let's, uh, let's get some more, uh, yeah, let's see what he can do, he's, he's definitely got versatility, that's one thing that will keep him in the, in the, with the Diamondbacks. Let's skip to the back, we'll get ourselves Drew Waters. Prospect uh, for the Braves. I'm going to throw him into the prospect hit pile because he's a legit, like, he's going to be a big one for them. Baron Laura, outfielder for the Rangers. Uh, he's actually one of their top prospects, and he's definitely a guy to look out for. His first Bowman was last year, so just heads up if you were looking for it. And then Reed Detmers, another prospect hit. He is a uh, first rounder pick for the uh, for the Angels last year. His first moment was last year as well too. So Reed Detmers, Angels number one last season. And our first card of the Chrome is going to be first Bowman. Is this DeVoe? Trent DeVoe for the Angels. There's our first Bowman card for the Chrome. At least we got a couple. Next one is going to be, is this is Grayson. Uh, Grayson Rodriguez for the uh, Orioles. He's a big, strong, uh, yeah, he was number one, first round uh, in 2018, 11th overall uh, by the Orioles. Big, strong pitcher, six foot five, 220. Just built like a brick house, it sounds like. But yeah, he's definitely a prospect hit too. And our last card looks like it's the, e, uh, the 91 upper deck, I mean, 90, upper deck, you've got 91 Bowman, that's Aaron Judge. Obviously, because I'm smart like that. I like me some Aaron Judge. Judge goes into my PC normally, so there is a nice little hit. Uh, I wish it was a prospect, but hey, Aaron Judge, I like me some Aaron Judge. So you're gonna go into the insert pile for now, buddy. And he's finally been hitting the ball now that he's healthy. Pack number four of Bowman, quadrant three. Part three, ribbon packs. Okay, we got oh, we got some green coming up. Brady Singer, rookie card for the Royals. I like this guy as a pitcher. He's done okay, but um, I liked him mouthing off to Angel Hernandez too. That was classic. And come on, it's funny that the vets aren't doing it, but the rookies are because they're tired of that dude's crap. Come on, call a good game, Angel. Do your job. Alec Bohm. Okay, second time I pulled him out of this box. I'll take it. But Alec Bohm, rookie card for the Phillies. Nolan Arenado for the Rockies, and we all know now the Cardinals. Juan Soto for the Nationals. All-star, perennial, young guy. He's probably younger than like 80% of the rookies that are coming out. And we got, let's get to the back. We have ourselves Josh Jung last year. No, was he last year's? No, he wasn't last year's. Uh, prospect for the Rangers. Last year was, uh, I can't remember his name right now. Logan Gilbert, who just uh, made his major league debut for the Mariners the other day. Guy's a good pitcher, but he did not pitch well. Um, but granted, you know, him and uh, Kelnick both pitched and uh, both played in that game. So it's kind of like the Mariners were doing their little, uh, look at us, guys, look at us. But Logan Gilbert, that's a prospect hit. Bryce Terang, second baseman shortstop for the Brewers, another prospect. Scoot to the back, we have a green. Uh, Brewer. Oh, is this, uh, this is, uh, what's his butt? Garrett Mitchell. Garrett Mitchell, nice. Number three of 125. Um, I don't know what, this is a green, of course, but yeah, Garrett Mitchell, that's a definite hit because this guy's, he's, he's, I'm, you've seen the episodes, you've seen the show before, you know that I actually shot footage of him playing at Orange Luther in high school. Can't find it. I, I, for the life of me, I have everybody's footage, but I can't find his. Anyway, but no, he went to UCLA, great kid, first round by the Brewers, that's a nice hit. Not his first, his first was a Bowman draft, but still, nice hit right there. That's definitely a hit. And then we have our next, it's a Chrome, not a first, it's not Hendrix, is it? Nope, Tyler Callahan, shortstop for the Reds, do not know who this guy is, so. 
sorry buddy, you're gonna go into the basic chrome pile, Mr. Callahan. And the next one is a triple of the Red Sox, at least, so there you go. We got Tristan Cassis, Jaron Duran, and CJ Chatham. Um, okay, I like CJ, but nah, dude, he doesn't belong in the talent pipeline. Jaron Duran, that dude's gonna be in the bigs probably pretty soon, and Cassis is right behind him. Uh, Red Sox got some good young talent right now. Granted, they're all mashers, they're all hitters, they need some pitching prospects, but right there, two of the three, hell yeah. Insert pile. Two packs left, quadrant three. Part three, yeah! All right, pack number five. Bowman 2021, 10 cards, let's go, rip back. Okay. All right, you heard my spiel about Mr. Judge. Well, there he is in base form. You're gonna go into PC pile, but just not yet, buddy. Mike Yastrzemski for the Giants. Godson of, uh, grandson of Carl Yastrzemski. You should have known that. Bo Bichette for the Blue Jays. He's having a, he actually was hot for a while there. Actually, the Blue Jays had a couple guys who were hot, him and Vladdy and everything, but it's kind of came back to earth, but still, he's a good player and it's good for, it's good for baseball. Then we have Trevor Bauer for then the Reds, now the Dodgers, and we all know. Um, it's a great pitcher, great Mind, a little, little, little aloof at times, but not in a bad way. But he's good for baseball. We need guys like him. Yes, we do. Scoop to the back and get ourselves Jordan Westerberg, shortstop for the Orioles. He was a uh, compensation pick, and he was a, I want to say, uh, first round, but he was like, yeah, he wasn't in the top 30. He was like 32 or 33 uh, for the Orioles. His first Bowman was last season. You're going to go into the prospect pile. Louvier Pagaro. Nice. Um, yes, this is paper, but this is a guy to look for. It doesn't say first at all. This is his first Bowman card. Um, was originally a Diamondback, was traded. I don't remember how the trade happened. Maybe it was Sterling Marte. But yeah, the guy's like, um, he's a legit, like be on the lookout for this guy. He's definitely a guy I've been uh, looking to get some more cards up, but nice to pull him out of the pack here. But Luffy or Piquero, definitely pay attention for this guy. That's a prospect hit. Patrick Bailey, catcher for the Giants. They love drafting their catchers. I'll just put it that way. Gonna go into the prospect pile. And then we go to the back. Our first Chrome is a first of Ivan Johnson. I pulled him on the first uh, first go round on part one. Um, but I got the chrome of him. Um, the problem with a lot of these guys who they did the, since they only have like 25 of the first, is only like 10 of them are any good. Not a knock on him as a ball player, but the guy is, uh, he's 23 years old, 23, yeah, 23 years old and he's getting his first Bowman card and he was drafted back in 2019. So he's had two plus years of playing time, granted COVID, but two plus years of playing time and this is his first card. That tells you kind of where tops, baseball and everything in general, they look at him. So not a knock on him as a player. Dude, I hope, I hope you have a great career. It's just when it comes to this side of it, you have to be smart. Anyway, I don't care. Ivan Johnson. Good for you, dude. First Bowman, Chrome. Next card is going to be, this, uh, who's it? Not Hazel, but uh, Josiah Gray. Josiah Gray for the Dodgers, for the Chrome. You're gonna go into the PC later, but right now you're just going into the Chrome pile. And the last card is Bowman Scouts, top 100. It's not Bowman, is it? Yeah, Bohm, wow. Alec Bohm with the top 100, number 28 for the Bowman Scouts. He's a really good ball player. Anyway, pack number six, last pack of the day. We've done okay, we've done okay. That Garrett Mitchell really kind of solidified it. Our first Bowmans are not that hot though, I'm gonna be honest with you. Pack number six, let's go. Okay, we got a red coming up or a pink. I'm not gonna look at it yet. Jorge Soler for the Royals. Uh, you're just, I like you, but come on, dude. Jesus Sanchez, rookie card for the Marlins. Just a heads up on this guy, he's mashing. He's got like five home runs in the first uh, three weeks of minor league baseball right now at AAA. He's gonna be called up soon and he's 
yeah, he's a masher right now. And it's, yeah, he's definitely proven that he shouldn't be down in the, down in uh, Jacksonville, which is now their new AAA team. But yeah, Jesus Sanchez uh, for the Marlins. Heads up on this guy. And you're gonna go into the rookie pile. Alex Kirloff for the Twins. Uh, here's another guy who he's actually playing in the big leagues and he finally got called up due to service time um, But yeah, he's definitely gonna be the twins now the twins kind of suck right now But he's definitely gonna be a reason why the twins are gonna get better It's a good strong powerful outfielder and the guys are so that's just a complete ball player So Alex Kirloff rookie card for the twins Jose Garcia shortstop rookie card for the Reds. I know a lot. I don't know that much. I don't know much about him Sorry Andres Jimenez for then the Mets, but now the Indians, one of the key pieces in the uh, Francisco Lindor trade. Um, he's been doing pretty well, looks like. I actually checked him up, um, and it looks like he's been getting more uh, than Amanda Rosario, meant more time to play. So definitely, he's, uh, he's a good one. Oh, I already jumped to the gun. We have uh, Francisco Alvarez, catcher for the Mets. I was reading two on him. He's uh, one of the Mets' big, uh, big, uh, big prospects. So, as a catcher, I mean, legit, like he has, and he's like a top tenner for them, but Francisco Alvarez, that's a nice little prospect hit. I'm gonna throw him in the hit pile because I've read about him. Second card is Jordan Walker, third baseman for Cardinals. I don't know how much time you're gonna get at third base, bud, but you were just drafted. I don't know if he was a first or second rounder, uh, but he was just drafted last year for the Cardinals. Um, my mood position, who knows, but um, last year was his first Bowman, just a heads up, I think, in Bowman draft, but. It's a good guy to look out for. And then our next card is going to be Marco Luciano, Giants prospect. Um, he's a big deal. So hate the Giants, but why should I not hate the Giants? But just be on the lookout for this guy, Marco Luciano. And then uh, Jackson Kolar for the Royals pitcher. I uh, don't know much about him, but he is a prospect. And our last card is a pink one and First Bowman, at least. Pink paper. Um, don't know much about the Yankees. Antonio Gomez. 120 out of 299. First Bowman catcher. Um, they've been doing the printed paper numbers and the uh, chrome paper numbers. Uh, he was actually Yankees free agent out of 2018. The guy is 19 right now. He'll be 20 in November. So, hey, that's a good one. We'll throw you into the hit pile. So yeah, Antonio Gomez numbered pink. So there you go, there is part three of the Bowman Hobby Box. Still have not gotten that auto. Let's hope it's a good one. Got a couple numbered cards this time around. Let's just do a quick little recap here. Um, obviously you just saw the Antonio Gomez. We just saw him. Um, Louvier Peguero, again, just a heads up, pay attention. This guy is one to be on the lookout for. I know he plays for the Pirates, but the Pirates have got good talent. They don't play like him in the major league level, but they got good talent. Uh, I would say definitely Garrett Mitchell, number three out of 125. He'll be up in the big club probably in the next year or so. Um, he's a center fielder, so it's a matter of, you know, do they need him? Hopefully they do. And then you've got our, uh, we got our, uh, who else would they say? I would say, uh, yeah, Nick Gonzalez would be our next, our next hit. He's definitely, he's a big one. Uh, for our first, we only got three firsts. Actually, outside of that one pink, and the three were chrome. Uh, Christopher Morell is another guy I've been high on for the Cubbies. Uh, Trent DeVoe, don't know much about him for the Angels, a first. And Ivan Johnson for the Reds. As for the rookie cards themselves, I mean, yeah, Alex Kirloff definitely is a hit in my eyes. Alex Kirloff would be one, the Alec Bohm, second Bohm out of the hobby box if pulled. Um, yeah, and there you go. So, I mean, there's, and then the inserts themselves, the judge for me personally, which is cool. Um, Corbin Carroll, the guy's like a legit, he'll be, he's, he's a big time deal for the, for the Diamondbacks, but there's part three. So come back tomorrow for part four, and we should pull an auto and a couple other numbered cards, hopefully. So anyway, thank you so much for watching Rip and Packs, part three of the Bowman Hobby Box Rip. Um, that subscribe button, smash it. That like button, smash it. The notification bell, smash it. <laughs> thank you for watching Rip and Packs. 
follow me on all that goofy fun stuff over there, you know, because you're bored and everything, and when you're on the toilet, you can look at pictures and read stuff and everything like that. Thank you, and I will see you tomorrow on part four of the Bowman Hobby Rip. Till then.